Hello again, my friends. As you can see, I'm here in New York to find our treasure. Okay, I am in my hotel and I have this great sightseeing. Okay, so today we're going to see some different things. Okay, to find the treasure. First of all, I'm going to review other contents and then we are going to play also other different games to pass all the tests and to find our big treasure, okay? So, let's start. Okay, my friends, as you know, we are in New York to find our treasure and also here in New York, Kobe and me, we have found our first treasure chest today. Okay, so now we're going to discover what there are inside of this treasure. Okay, so we're going to discover here we have past simple, natural disasters, and past continue. So, first of all, we're going to explain and to remember natural disasters and then we are going to explain to remember and to difference past simple and past continue okay are you ready yes so let's go so okay my friends so to remember the natural disaster we are going to play a game okay and now you have to help Kobe to play this game. The game is the next one. You have here, as you can see, some different pictures about natural disasters. And here you have some different words about these pictures, okay? So you have to match the picture with the correct word, okay? Kobe, are you ready? So let's start. I'm going, to, I'm going to start, for example, with Earthquake. What picture is Earthquake? Do you know? Do you remember Earthquake? Yes, is this one or this one? Yeah, is this one, okay. Earthquake, Terremoto. I'm going to see the next one. Tsunami. What's a tsunami? Do you remember? What picture is it? Yes. You know. Tsunami is this picture. So good. Okay. And now. We have. Drought. What picture is drought? Do you remember what's a drought? Sequia. What? Yes. It is or it is? Is it or is it? Is this one, of course. So good. Next one, we have, for example, wood fire. Do you remember what's wood fire? Fuego. Okay, so the picture is this one. So good. Now, more difficult, mud slide. Do you remember what's a mud slide? Una avalancha de lodo. Okay, so what picture is it? Yes, it's this one. Okay, mud slide. I'm going to see other. We have lightning. Do you know what's a lighting? Un relámpago. Okay, so can you guess the picture? You're not. Yes. Is it or is it? Yes, it is. Okay, this is the picture. Lighting, relámpago. Now we have here hail. 
Do you know what picture is hail? Do you remember? What's a hail? Granizo. So, it's this one. Okay. The hail. I'm going with the next one. Blizzard. Do you remember what's a blizzard? You're not. Ventisca. Okay. So, this is the picture of blizzard. As you can see. Okay. The next one is storms. Do you remember storms? So easy. Tormentas. So, what is it? This one, of course. Now we have flute. What's a flute? Do you remember a flute? What's a flute? Inundación. So, so easy now. Flute, inundación. Okay. We have your feet. Next one. We have a tornado. So we see tornado. Okay. Is this one? So good. Next one. We have head wave. So what picture is it? Yes. It's this one. Head wave. Hola de calor. And now we have this picture, hurricane, huracán, so easy. So what picture is it? This one, of course. Now we have avalanche. Do you know what's an avalanche? Una avalancha, okay. So we have this one, good. And finally we have volcano and landslide. Do you know what's a volcano and a landslide? Volcano, so easy. Volcan and landslide. What's a landslide? Un movimiento de tierra, vale? O una avalancha de tierra. Okay, so this is a volcano and this other one is landslide. Okay, can you remember it? And can you do it? Kobe, do you understand it? I hope that you too, my friends, okay? So, let's continue. Okay, my friends, now we are going to remember past simple form. Do you remember past simple form? You're not. So, now I'm going to explain first the uses, okay? And then I'm going to explain the forms. Okay, are you ready? You're not. So let's start the explanation. First, we have the different uses. Okay, and my question is, when do we use past simple? Cuando utilizamos el pasado simple? So we use past simple in actions that happened at a specific moment in the past. Okay, acciones que ocurren en un momento específico del pasado. Por ejemplo, I ate an apple yesterday. Yo me comí una manzana ayer, ¿vale? Me la comí ayer y acabé de comérmela ayer. ¿Sí? Okay. Next one. In actions that happened one after another. En acciones que ocurren una detrás de otra. Okay. Uh, yesterday I ate an apple, then I have I had a sour and then I saw the TV. Okay, for example. Ayer me comí una manzana, luego me di una ducha y luego vi la tele, ¿vale? Todas con pasado simple. Do you understand it? And finally, in general, after when. So, always that you see when, after that, 
past simple. ¿Ok? When means cuando. ¿Vale, chicos? When means cuando. Y cuando vemos la partícula when significa que cortamos una acción. For example, I was having a shower when my mother called me. Me estaba dando una ducha cuando mi madre me llamó. Es decir, ese cuando, ese when, corta la acción. Y es entonces cuando escribimos pasado simple. Do you understand it? Don't worry. We will practice it, okay? Now, I'm going to explain the forms, okay? And our first form is past simple affirmative. And this is the structure. First, we have the subject. Then, we have the verb in past. And how can we form the verb in past? And then the complements, of course. And how can we form the verb in past? If we have a regular verb, we have to add ed. Tenemos que añadir ed al verbo. For example, play, played. Okay? And if we have a irregular verbs, we have to use the second column of the list. Have you studied the list? You're not. Do you remember it? So, for example, can you tell me an example? You're not. Can you tell me? Let's think, please. Being an example. So, the examples could be that. You played football or you ate an apple. The first example is with a verb regular or regular verb okay you played you is the subject and played is the verb in past like you can see we added ed okay and finally the complement football and the second example we have the subject the verb in past and we have here a regular verb so we form the past with the second column of the list. So, you ate an apple. Okay. Do you understand it? You're not. So, let's explain the second form. The second form is past simple negative. Okay. And we have first the subject. Then we have the auxiliary verb negative didn't do you understand it do you remember didn't i think so and then we have the verb infinitive verb in present okay so so important no verb in past verb in present because we have the past here in the auxiliary verb okay and then we can but they all the rest of the complements that you want, okay? So, can you tell me an example in negative form? Let's think, please. The example, is it? You, the subject, didn't. The auxiliary verb, play. The verb infinitive, as you can see, play is in present, in verb on, on based form okay not past okay verb present and finally football the complement okay now let's discover our third form okay is past simple interrogative and do you know can how can we form the interrogative form do you remember let's explain okay we have first the auxiliary verb did, okay? Auxiliary verb did. Then we have the subject. And finally, we have the verb infinitive in present, okay? Then the complements that you want and also the question mark, okay? So what happens here? 
we change the order between the auxiliary verb and the subject, as you can see, okay? So first auxiliary verb, then subject under verb infinitive, okay? And now, can you tell me an example? Try, please. Try to think. And example, for example, this, this one. Did you play football yesterday? ¿Jugaste ayer al fútbol? Como veis, con el pasado simple, las acciones son siempre acabadas, ¿vale? Son acciones que acabaron en el pasado. Ok. Did, the auxiliary verb. You, the subject, and play, the verb, infinitive. And then, football yesterday is the complement. Ok. So, and now my question is, how can we answer this question? Do you remember? You're not. So we can answer this question with short answers. Okay. And we have two different short answers. The first one is yes plus subject plus auxiliary verb did. Okay. For example, yeah, I did. Did you play football yesterday? Yes. I did, okay? And the second one is no plus subject plus auxiliary verb negative, of course, okay? Didn't. And the example is, did you play football yesterday? No, I didn't, okay? Can you see the difference? So, that's the explanation, my friends. And now we're going to play a game to practice this explanation. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, my friends, we have explained yet the past simple form. So now to practice it, we're going to play a funny but a very difficult game. Okay, so now you have to help our friend Kobe to play this game. Okay, now I'm going to explain you the game. As you can see, we have here three different verbs, okay? These verbs are in present form. So now you have to change this verb to a to past form, okay? And then you have to make a sentence. Are you ready? So we are going to start. This is the first verb, accept. Do you know the meaning? Of accept. Sí, es muy fácil. Yes, aceptar. Okay. And is it regular or irregular verb? Do you know? Yes, it's regular. So you have to add ed to form the past. Okay, so the past is accepted. Now, can you make a sentence in past simple affirmative with this verb? Try, please. For example, you accepted the invitation. Tú aceptaste la invitación. Okay. Can you think or can you write the example that you want? Okay. Now, we're going with the second one. Build. Okay. Do you know the meaning of build? Do you remember? Construir. Okay, you know. And is it regular or irregular verb? What do you think? Yeah, it's irregular. So, you have to go to the second column of our list, okay, to know the past of this verb. So the past is built, construyó, okay. Now, can you tell me a sentence in past simple affirmative? So easy. For example, he Built 
a house. But now, can you can you change this sentence to negative form? Can you? For example, I didn't or you didn't build or built. Verb in present, remember, I didn't build a house. Yo no construí una casa. Okay, say it. And finally, we have break. What's the meaning of break? Romper. Okay, and is it regular or irregular verb? Did you know? Yes, it's irregular verb. So we have to go again to the second column of the verb list, okay? And the past of this verb is broke, rompió. Now, can you make a sentence in past simple affirmative? You're not. Yeah. For example, he broke his leg. Él se rompió su pierna. And can you change this sentence to interrogative form? Let's try. Can you do it? Yes. For example, does. No, does, my friends. Did. Okay, so good. Did he blow or break? Break. Remember, birth in present. Did he break his leg? Se rompió el su pierna. Okay. So, is it clear? Can you do it? It's quite difficult, but you are so clever, so there's no problem, okay? So now, let's continue with our friends, Kobe. Okay, my friends, we have explained the past simple form. So now we are going to explain past continue form. Do you remember past continue? You're not. First, I'm going to explain you the different uses, okay? And then I'm going to explain the forms, okay? Do you remember it? Are you ready? So let's go. We have here the different uses. And my question is, when do we use past continuous? ¿Cuándo utilizamos el pasado continuo? First, we use past continuous in actions that happened at a specific time in the past. En acciones que ocurrieron en un tiempo específico del pasado. For example, I was living in Salamanca in 2003. Ok, estaba viviendo en Salamanca en 2003. Y como podéis ver, la diferencia con el pasado simple reside en que el pasado simple únicamente se refiere a un momento específico del pasado, mientras que el pasado continuo hablamos de un periodo de tiempo en el pasado, ¿vale? Esa es la principal diferencia. Do you understand it? The second use is the next one. We use past continue to express two or more actions that have occurred at the same time in the past. Para expresar dos o más acciones que ocurrieron al mismo tiempo en el pasado. For example, I was cleaning my hands while I was speaking. Estaba lavándome las manos mientras estaba hablando. Es decir, estaba haciendo las dos cosas a la vez. Ok. And finally, we use past continue in general after while. Ok. While means mientras. Siempre que veamos la palabra while detrás, vamos a tener un pasado continuo. ¿Vale? Por ejemplo, I, I was speaking while I was studying 
English. Estaba hablando mientras estaba estudiando English. Ok. Do you understand it? Let's go. Now, we are going to explain the forms. Ok. And our first form is past continuous affirmative. Do you remember past continuous affirmative? How can we form past continuous affirmative? Now, I'm going to explain the structure, okay? We have first the subject, then verb to be in past, okay? And verb to be in past is was for the first singular and the third singular person and were for the rest of the persons, okay? Then we have the verb ending on ing so important ending on ing and finally we have the complements can you tell me an example you're not for example you were studying english you the subject were to be in past studying birth with ing like you can see ing and finally the complement okay now we are going to explain our second form past continuous negative okay and do you remember how can we form past continuous negative first we have the subject then to be negative in past okay it wasn't for the first singular person and third singular person and weren't, as you know, for the rest of the persons. Then we have the verb ending on ing. Okay, so important. And then the complements. So, for example, he wasn't studying English. L wasn't birth to be negative studying birth ending on ing and english the complements okay and now i'm going to see and to explain the third form is past continuous interrogative okay how can we form past continuous interrogative do you know Let's think. Okay, first we have the birth to be in past, of course. Was or were, as you can know. Then we have the subject. Then the verb ing, and then the complement. Okay, so and finally. Of course, the question mark. So what happened here? We changed the order between verb to be in past and the subject, okay. Do you know? Do you understand it? Yes? And can you tell me an example? Let's try. And this is a sample. Where you studying English, where the verb to be you, the subject studying, verb ending on ing is so important, and then the complement, English. And my question is how can we answer this question? Do you know? Do you remember? So, with short answers, okay, and we have, as you know, two different short answers. This is the first one. Yes, plus subject, plus was or were. So to be in past, okay, depends of the person. And then this is the sample. Yes, I was, for example, okay. And then we have the second short answer. No, plus subject, plus wasn't or weren't so to be in past negative and the example is this no i wasn't okay 
can you understand it? It's so important that you can understand it because now I'm going to play a game to practice this form. Okay. Let's play. This is the past continue game. Okay. Now I'm going to show you some different pictures and you have to guess what happened in the picture okay so i have here this picture we have a boy and a girl and my question is what were they doing do you know what were they doing now you have to answer the question okay try to answer please do you know you're not let's try and the answer is they were dancing of course okay next one we have other picture here and my question is what was he doing do you know Try to answer, please. And the answer is, he was having a shower, of course. Do you know? Next one. We have here other picture. And my question is, what were they doing do you know try to answer let's you can yeah they were jumping okay and more difficult can you can you tell me this sentence in negative Let's try to change this sentence to intero to negative form. They weren't jumping. Of course, we only have to change the verb to be. Verb to be positive to verb to be negative. They weren't jumping. Okay, so good. This is the next one picture. So my question is, what was he doing? Do you know? Try. Yeah, he was playing football. So easy, but more difficult now. Can you tell me the same can you tell me the same sentence but in interrogative form? Okay. So how can we change to interrogative form? So, do you know? Yes, yeah, so we see. Was he playing football? So we have to change the order between the verb to be and the subject. We only have to change the order between to be and subject. So first was, then he playing football. Okay. Was he playing football? So good. Now we have here other picture. What was she doing? Do you know? Try to guess. Yes, she was writing. So good. And now more more difficult. You have to change this sentence to interrogative and to negative form both let's try 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 can you do it can you do it you're not so interrogative first was she writing estaba escribiendo and negative she 
wasn't writing. Okay, so easy. So this is the game, my friends. Okay, I hope that you can remember the past continuous form. Okay, so now we are going to continue. Okay, our adventure with Kobe. So let's go. Okay, my friends, we have passed our first test today, okay, and we have discovered our first clue. So now we are going to open our second treasure chest, okay? So let's help Kobe to open our second treasure chest. We're going to start. So I have here, of course, other letter. Now, we're going to see what there are inside of the letter. So we have describing sensations and also we have describing objects. Okay, so now we're going to explain first describing objects and we're going to play also some different games about it. And then we're going to explain describing sensations. And then also we are going to play a game about it. Okay, so are you ready? Let's go. Okay, my friends. Now we are going to start with describing objects explanation. Okay, and to remember and to understand how we can describe an object, we have to remember the different materials that we have came so do you remember what a stone a stone do you remember yes piedra okay and do you remember what leather can you remember yes piel okay o cuero do you remember what brick? Brick? Can you remember? Yes. Ladrillos. Okay. And this is so easy. Do you remember what's plastic? Yes. Plastic, of course. And do you know what's glass? Glass. So easy. Crystal, of course. And do you remember what's wool? Of course, lana, take it. And metal, do you know what's metal? So easy, metal, okay. And do you remember what's good? Yes, wood, it's madera, okay. And rubber, do you know what's rubber? Yes, goma, of course. And finally, do you remember what fabric? Do you remember fabric? Yes, telas, por así decirlo. Okay, so, can you understand and can you remember all the materials? Yes, so now we are going to explain made of a structure. Okay, so let's go. Okay, my friends, like I've told you, now we are going to start with describing objects explanation. Okay, do you remember how we can describe objects? Kevin, do you remember? Yes or not? Now, you have to help Kevin to remember it, okay? So, to describe objects, we use made of a structure do you know what's the meaning of made of do you remember hecho de okay and we have to ask ourselves the next question es decir nos tenemos que hacer la siguiente pregunta siempre what is it or are they made of is it if our object is only one or are they 
is we have more than one, two, three, or more, okay? More than one. What's the meaning of this question? ¿De qué está hecho? Okay. And we have two different answers. It is made of. It is the subject. Is is the verb to be. And then we write made of. Okay. And then the material that you want. For example, it is made of glass. Okay. And also, when we have more than one object, we use this answer. They are made of, they are made of metal. Okay. So when we use it, we only have one object. And when we use they, we have more than one object, two, three, or more. Okay? Do you understand it? Easy or not? So now we are going to play a game to practice it. Okay? Are you ready? Yes? Let's go! Okay, my friends, to practice describing objects now, we are going to play a game. Okay, so I'm going to show you some different objects. Okay, and you have to guess what the object made of. Okay, are you ready to start? Yes, so let's start. This is our first object, and this is a beauty skill. Okay, and the question is. What is or are? We have only one key. So, what is it made of? Or, what is the really key made of? And, if we ask with it, we also answer with it. Okay, so it's made of what? Made of plastic. Girls. Okay, so good. This is our second object. Okay, and this is what is this? This is a glass. Okay, and the question is what is or are? Decide what is. Of course, we only have one glass. What is it made of, or what is the glass made of? And the answer is what? The glass or it is made of? Made of what? Glass, of course. Glass, say it. I'm going with the third object. This is a book, as you can see, okay? A book. And my question is. What is or are? What is? Of course, we only have one book. So, what is the book made of? And the answer is, it's made of what? Paper? Could be, but the paper is also made of what? It's also made of Yes. So, really, the book is made of wood. Okay, so good. And finally, I have here two forks. Okay, as you can see. And my question is, what is or are? Decide what are they made of or what are these two forks made of and the answer is they are made of what metal of course they are made of metal of oh, these two forks are made of metal okay 
remember we use they are because we have two okay not only one so good so can you do it so now we are going to continue our adventure okay so let's go okay my friends now it's time to explain describing sensations okay and to describe sensations we use a, a structure with present simple so we have to remember first present simple okay and as you can see here we have three different forms in present simple affirmative negative and interrogative okay we are going with interrogative with affirmative form sorry this is the structure okay subject plus verb plus complements okay and we add yes or s if the subject is he she or it so we added yes or s for the third singular person okay añadimos s o s para la tercera persona del singular vale for example i play football or she plays pay attention okay plays football now negative form okay this is the structure subject plus auxiliary verb negative don't or doesn't plus verb plus complement and we use doesn't for the third singular person for he she and it and for the rest of the persons we use don't okay and here the verb is in infinitive okay infinitive verb so we not add it s or es okay this is the example i don't play football or he doesn't okay he doesn't play football this is the difference okay don't with first person and doesn't with the third singular person okay and finally we have the interrogative form okay and how can we form the interrogative present simple form this is the structure okay do or does depends of the person as you know subject plus verb infinitive okay infinitive without es or s without sin s o s plus complements plus question marks marks okay of course and this is the example do you play football jugáis al football okay and in third person is does not you does she okay play football ahí os lo pongo para que veáis bien la diferencia okay does she play football okay do you remember present simple form yes so now i'm going to explain how we can describe sensations okay let's go okay my friends we have remembered present simple form and now i'm going to explain you how we can describe sensations okay but first of all i have a question for you do you know how many senses the humans have yes or no we have hearing an oído we have smell an olfato we have sight la vista we have taste el gusto and we have touch el tacto okay do you understand it so now i'm going to explain you how we describe sensation okay let's start with the explanation okay to describe sensations we have a question and also we have an answer this is the question what 
plus auxiliary verb does plus subject it. So, as you can see, this is like present simple, okay? And also we have five different verbs. One to each same. Feel with, te, with touch, okay? Sentir con el tacto. Taste with taste, gustar con el gusto. Smell with smell, oler con el olfato. Click, mirar with sight, con la vista. And sound, sonar o escuchar with hearing, con el oído. Ok, plus like. And now I'm going to set you an example. What does it taste like? A que sabe? Okay. And we have the next answer. The subject it or the, ob or the object that you want, okay? Or that you have. And the same five verbs, okay? Depend on the things. We have feel, but as you can see, we have to add S because this is present simple affirmative, third person singular. It feels, tastes, smells, sounds, and leaks. Okay, we have to add S because we are, we are in present simple affirmative. Okay, do you understand it? Yes. Plus like, plus the noun that you want. Okay. Do you understand it? It's so, so easy. Okay. For example, it tastes like macaroni. Sabe a macarrones. Okay. It tastes like tomato. Sabe a tomate. Okay. Do you understand it? Yes, so now I'm going to play a game to practice it. Okay, so let's go. Okay, my friends, we have found our last treasure chest here in New York. Okay, this is the last one. So if we can guess this test, Okay, my friends, now we have found our last treasure chest, okay? This is the last one, so if we pass this test, we will discover our treasure, okay? So now you have to help Kobe a lot to pass this test, okay? We're going to see now what there are inside of this treasure. Okay, let's see, Kobe. What are there inside of them? Yes, there are, of course, other letters, the last letter. And inside of the letter, there are a clue nature and wild animals. So now we have to explain and to remember the animals and the nature. Okay, the wild animals and the nature. Then we are going to play a game, our last game, a funny fun game, and then we will discover our treasure. Okay, so are you ready to start? Yes, let's go. Okay, my friends, to remember the nature vocabulary now, I'm going to show you some flashcards about nature okay so we are going to start okay i'm going to show you the picture and you have to guess what picture is it okay what's this one you know yes yeah, so easy the sun and this one so so easy yes the fire this one the glue 
Okay. Good. And this one. Do you know? Can you guess it? Yes. The sand. Okay. And this one. Do you know? Yes. The eyes. Yellow. And what's this picture? Do you know? Yes. The cliffs. Do you know what's the meaning of cliffs? You're not. Acantilados. Okay. And this one. What's that? Do you know? Yes. Grass. And do you know the meaning of grass? Yes. Césped or hierba. Okay. And what's this picture? Do you know? Can you guess it? Try a jungle, okay, la jungla. And this picture, so easy, okay, an island, of course, okay, an island, una isla, okay. And what's this picture? Do you know? Can you guess it? Yes, there are flowers, okay. And this one, what is it? What's this picture? Can you guess it? A cave, okay? A cave, as you can see, una cueva. And finally, we have here, what's that? What's this picture? Can you guess it? Yes, so easy. A beach, okay? The beach and the sea, okay? So good. So, can you remember it now? I'm going to see the animal, okay? Let's go. Okay, my friends. Now, to remember the vocabulary about wild animals, we are going to play a game, okay? In this game, you have to help Kobe to match this picture with the correct name, okay? So, we are going to start. First, we have black bear. Do you know what's a black bear? And can you guess what's the picture with black bear? You're not. Yes. Is this one? No. It's this one, okay. Black bear. Also, pardo, okay. Take it. Second one. We have here the squirrel. Do you know what's a squirrel? And can you guess what's the picture with a squirrel? Yeah or not? Is this one? No. And this one? Neither. Is this one? Okay. A squirrel. Ardilla. Okay. Okay. Next one. The wolf. Do you know what's a wolf? And can you guess what's the correct picture with wolf? Can you guess it? You're not. Yes, it's this one, okay. The wolf, lobo, okay. Okay, now we have here cheetah. Do you know what's a cheetah? And can you guess what's the picture is this one? No, it's this one. Okay. Leopardo. Okay. So good. And we have here orangutan. Do you know what's orangutan? So easy. The orange monkey. Yes. Is this one okay? Orangutan. And we have here snail. Do you know what's a snail? And can you guess what's the picture with a snail? Yes. This one. Okay. A snail. Caracol. And we have here lemur. Do you know what's a lemur? So we see. And can you guess what's the picture with lemur? Can you guess it? Kobe, can you guess it? 
this one or this one yes is this one okay lemur okay and i have here deer do you know what's a deer and can you guess what's the picture with deer yes is this one thiervo okay and i have here this picture do you know what's this picture mm, so beautiful and what's the name of this picture you got frog or seal yes is seal no is meerkat okay suricato so good and so easy now frog is this picture rana and seal is this other picture a uh, fog okay so do you remember now so good okay my friends now we are going to start our last game okay so if you pass this game you will discover the big treasure okay this game is about wild animals and nature yes now i'm going to explain you the game now i'm going to describe a picture okay and you have to draw my description okay es decir lo explico en español ahora os voy a describir una imagen y vosotros vais a tener que ir dibujando lo que yo os voy describiendo vale so check paper and pencil si no os da tiempo podréis parar vale el vídeo so let's start we are in the jungle okay in the background en las parte de atrás there are some trees and plants and in the floor there are grass okay in the top corner left en la esquina superior izquierda there is a monkey and in the top corner in the down corner left sorry en la esquina inferior izquierda there is a zebra yes near the zebra there is a turtle and a small bear and back of the turtle there is a lion and back of the lion there are two giraffes can you draw it okay now near the lion there is other zebra okay and in front of this zebra delante de esta zebra there is a deer and a monkey okay can you draw it finally in the top corner right in la esquina superior derecha there is an eagle and in the top corner in the down sorry corner right there is a snake can you draw it yes and our treasure is back of all these animals so we have to discover okay now and this is our picture okay is your picture similar to this one you're not if you want you can send us your picture by email okay so now we are going to see the treasure let's go okay my friends so so good done you have found the treasure okay and now we have to discover what's the treasure okay and the treasure is big huge grandes abrazos 
play with your friends, jugar con vuestros amigos, and back to school, y volver al cole. Definitely recover your previous life, ok? Recuperar la vida que teníamos antes, ok? So, I hope that you can enjoy this treasure so, so soon, ok? Y ahora me gustaría despedirme en español. Espero que estas dos clases os hayan servido tanto para repasar todos los contenidos del curso y ayudaros en vuestras tareas como para entreteneros en estas vacaciones de Semana Santa tan raras. Espero que todos vosotros estéis bien, que estéis pasando la Semana Santa dentro de lo que cabe lo mejor posible y por supuesto espero veros muy muy pronto. See you soon. Bye bye.